after school holiday concert. Besides performance, we will include our varsity band, our concert band, and our symphonic band. Our students have been working extremely hard to prepare this uh, program tonight for you. If, they, if we could have a few uh, house rules, those if cell phones can be turned off and put on silent. If any uh, child will become restless or noisy, please exit the uh, performing arts center. Just for a few moments to get your child uh, settled a little bit, then come on back and enjoy. We're always trying to record and get a quality uh, sound for our students for study purposes. That's why we ask for those simple house rules. Our first band to perform tonight is our varsity band under the direction of Mr. Mike Eggles. And their first piece is on Christmas Day.
Good evening. It's been a, 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 a group that has nonstop improved this year, and this is their favorite song on Christmas Day, uh, Three Tall Ships. And I just want to let you know, uh, parents, thank you for encouraging your kids to play. We have a lot of fun. We've made a lot of progress, and I'm extremely pleased and proud of them. And uh, they're, a, they're a fun group. Uh, probably one of the interesting things to note is that they are very respectful. And I'm very thankful of you for teaching them that. And so this is three tall ships. On Christmas Day, I saw them, didn't I? I saw the three tall ships. I was looking across the sea and I saw them, right? <laughs> Hope you enjoy it and thank you for being here tonight. As continued performing tonight from the University of George, this is the George Junior High Concert Band under the direction of Mr. Chris Moore.
Good evening, Merry Christmas, and thank you for coming out tonight. That was Union Station March by Don Colquitt. Um, that was a march, and kind of one of the traditions of George is we have fallen in love with marches, and on all of our concerts, we, progr we program sometimes one, two, three marches. And so I know this is a Christmas concert, a winter concert, and last week, the students and I, we noticed we forgot to prepare a march. And so uh, th we passed it out to the students last week, and they learned it really quickly. I asked them uh, this week, what is your favorite song on the Christmas concert? And they all said the Union Station March, which I thought was very interesting. Um, some of our older students came back, to, came back up to us and said that that piece was played by one of the all-region bands recently, and so we've just had a whole lot of fun with that. So now we're going to switch gears, and we're going to perform some Christmas music for you. The first one will be Yuletide Festival. This piece is written by Randall Standridge. He is a former Arkansas band director, and now he makes a living writing music. And so this is very neat for us as a public school Arkansas program to play another Arkansas composer's work. This is Yuletide Festival, and we hope you like it.
Did you like that last one? Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Um, you know, we're excited to play music from um, Arkansas composers, and so I know Mr. Standridge is happy that we played that piece tonight, and so I thought it was a great work. This was by accident. Here's another piece entitled Still, 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 also by an Arkansas composer, Randall Standridge. Thank you for listening to our program tonight. Uh, our next song is probably our students' uh, second favorite. This is the uh, Latin bell carol from the African peril that so many of you guys know. Do, 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 do. And so when we told the students that we were going to play that song, they all just, they just fell in love with it. So uh, we're going to feature tonight our percussion section. And so uh, we've had a lot of uh, wonderful people helping our program. Um, on the, in the program that was out in the hall, there's a list of a, a lot of students, uh, high school students, college students that have, have helped with these kids so far this semester. And so we recognize those people by listing their names. And so thank you for all the parents and students that have helped them. Uh, Alex Miller from the U of A has been working with our percussion and so we will feature our percussion section to Latin Belco.
Thank you very much for having a lot of fun performing for you tonight. Uh, I'd like to recognize some students uh, from this group. Uh, so far this year, we've done a lot of things and we've got a lot of things left to come. Uh, the students have done a fall solo and ensemble. Uh, they've done a fall concert. They performed at the football game at band night. And about a month ago, when band night was over, we were practicing marching music, and so we put that music away. And so since then, we've been working on this music. So uh, thank you for listening to us tonight. The students I'd like to recognize from this group, we offer a lot of opportunities to all, all of our students in all the different periods. And there's a couple of students in this group I'd like to recognize. If you tried out for all region orchestra and you're in this group, if you'll please stand up. If you tried out for all region orchestra. Thank you, ladies. And if you were selected into the all region orchestra, if you'd please stand up. Audrey Romero, French horn. And the, uh, the students, they don't get to play with the violins very often, so we, we threw that out there at them, and a couple of students in this group said, yeah, I'd like to try out for that, and so we want to thank them for their efforts. Um, we also offered jazz to these kids. If you, tried out, if you tried out for the All Region Jazz Band, if you'll please stand up. If you tried out. Thank you, ladies. Um, these students, those that you, they're going to be future leaders. You know, they, they came uh, after school in the mornings on the weekends and did extra practice. And so we're really, we're really proud of the initiative that they took. If you're in this group and you were selected into the All Region Jazz Band, if you'll please stand up. Karina on tenor sax. That's just, just a few of the things that we've done so far this year. There's going to there's gonna be more things that we throw at these kids, and they've seen those kids do it now. And so our next concert, you know, we'll have more kids that, hey, I'm going to do that, I'm going to go do that. So thank you for all the students and all the different ensembles for the extra work that you have done. That, those things were not required. And so we've got some all-region students in this group, so we're real happy. We've got one more piece left for you. Um, this is called Feliz Navidad. Now, there's a little story behind this piece. Two weeks ago, we passed out this piece to the students, and we forgot that, that we had passed it out. And so uh, they reminded me before Thanksgiving break, hey, are we going to be practicing Feliz Navidad so we can play it on the concert? I said, oh, yeah, we probably need to. And then I forgot again. And so yesterday, the students said they still wanted to play Feliz Navidad. And I said, guys, we, we haven't practiced on it. And they said that they had practiced it at home. So today, at the end of band, we had just enough time to run through it. And I asked them if they wanted to still play it. And who wanted to still play this tonight? I, I'm the type of guy that I like to practice songs for a couple of weeks before we take it to the concert. Is everybody okay? Okay, they're still alive. I'm the type of guy, I like to practice on a, a, a piece for a long amount of time to make sure it's prepared. So uh, we ran this this morning, and this is our musical gift for you guys tonight. This is the George Junior High Concert Band's version of Feliz Navidad.
Good evening. This is George Junior High Symphonic Band, and this is under the direction of my best friend, Mr. Chris Moore. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas and good evening again. I want to thank Mr. Eccles for the opportunity uh, to direct that piece with the students. Um, at George Junior High, we have three groups. This next group for you is our marching band. And as, as the last game has ended, now this is the uh, George Junior High Symphonic Band. So now under the direction of Mr. Eccles, the George Junior High Symphonic Band. I'd like to thank uh, you parents for being here tonight and friends and family. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Rollins and uh, Dr. Jones and Ms. Garrett. And uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Spaulding and the Arkansas Principal of the Year, Mr. Don Hoover. This is what he said about the music program at George. Music is a pillar of our school. As a young school establishing traditions, music provided opportunities to build foundations for success. Our music programs inspired and synergized an astonishing self-confidence and self-gratification in our students. Music has become a cornerstone for our community. Thank you, Mr. Hoover.
Based on Andre Dumas' adaption of E.T.A. Hoffman's story, The Nutcracker and the Mouse King, a ballet was premiered on December 18th, 1892, in St. Petersburg, Russia. Peter Tchaikovsky composed The Nutcracker, and we're gonna play scenes from that ballet in 1891 and 1892. We hope you enjoy the Nutcracker.
two years ago, the band traveled to Chattanooga, Tennessee to perform for American School Band Director Convention. And uh, at that time, the band booster president was Corey Moore. Uh, Corey was a student at Springdale High School. She was an all-state percussionist. Her picture still is in the band room. And a few weeks ago, uh, her family was camping and um, she had a headache, went to the hospital, and the next day she lost her life. On that trip, she had texted me, and uh, we took an old phone and we gave it to Olivia, and I, I noticed here a couple days ago one of her texts from that trip. She said, the most fun I had was going to the Space Center in Huntsville, Alabama, and the IMAX Theater. The most educational thing that she enjoyed on the trip was Colonel Lowell Graham, who was the former conductor of the United States Air Force Band, worked with our students for about an hour. And the Trail of Tears, which actually did come through Springdale, that occurred in the early 1800s, the relocation of uh, American Indians from the east to the west. And part of the Trail of the Tears was this cascading fall, the memorial that was there. And the reason why it was called the Trail of Tears that uh, families were yanked from their homes and overnight uh, forced out of their homes at gunpoint and marched all the way across the United States to mainly Oklahoma. Uh, it was a very sad moment in the United States history. About 15,000 people lost their lives on that trail. And so the water cascaded down through these steps and the last thing you see is the Tennessee River. But she also commented, I love the concert and the room that was just incredible there was a hotel that was over 100 years old that we performed in. And she heard more parts than she had ever heard before and she talked about how uh, fun that was. Her family is here tonight, and if we could bring up the house lights, uh, Mr. Billy Moore and his son, her son, Gabe, a percussionist in the Springdale High School Band, and Sydney, a French horn player at Sonora Middle School. We give you angels and the bleak midwinter.
Sorry for the little mix-up. Uh, we were going to perform one song, and the percussion was ready for that, and uh, I thought that's what we are doing. The band changed the order. <clears throat> and uh, that's okay. We have a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of names on your program tonight of people that helped the band, and there are a lot of parents that uh, came and helped us at games. And I'd like for all the parents that helped this year and all the students uh, at the alumni to stand, but there was one name that kind of got clipped in the printing of that, and that was Victor George. And Victor uh, is a monster bass clarinet player, and he has helped us immensely, and we're, we really appreciate him and uh, John, Jonathan and Alvarado and the, all those kids from Springdale High School that come down and help. I'd like to thank Mr. Robinson and Mr. Hodge and the, these students' beginner teacher, she's standing right there, Ms. Janice Bankston. So all those people, please stand and let's recognize them.
So imagine a band coming in the parade, and you're standing there listening to the band. They get louder and louder and louder, and as they go by, it gets quieter and quieter and quieter. This is sleigh ride. Our final selection is um, a piece called uh, Symphony Number no. 4 from Bookmarks of Japan that has a six movement work and we're playing the, going to perform the second movement and the world premiere was done in Japan this July. Uh, this is the kids favorite piece of music and um, that last one we didn't play this week. We should have played that this week, shouldn't we? Yeah, for sure. Um, this is a great piece of music. It's written by Julie Garo. She wrote uh, Khan that the band performed last year. And uh, it has numerous soloists in it. And uh, before we uh, mention those, I'd like for all the students that made the All Region Orchestra to stand up and be recognized, please. and all the students who made the All Region Jazz Band to stand up and be recognized. Thank you for coming tonight and we hope you enjoy 
the bridge market. Thank you very much and Merry Christmas.